Today in sports, we're going to tackle one of the most pressing issues in the game of football, head-on collisions. This weekend's UNC Virginia Tech game will be the only Division I game where both teams will be monitoring players electronically. Michelle Steele has more on what some are calling bionic football. Virginia Tech, home of the Hokies, known as much for longtime coach Frank Beamer as their most famous football alum, Michael Vick. Today, it's using cutting edge technology that could help stop this from turning into this devastating injury. This is really a window into the future of football. We got a first hand look inside a wired helmet at practice this week at Tech, the first school to start monitoring players. Special sensors track G force, acceleration, and the brain's response to the stress of an on field collision. When the computer registers a hit of 80 G's or higher, a team official gets an alert on a pager and then can decide to take the player off the field. Okay, hit with your eyebrows. But they'll pull you out of the game and um, test you, and if you're fine, we'll send you back in. Stefan Duma is the head of the school's Department of Biomedical Engineering, where for eight years he's been collecting data on one and a half million hits at seven colleges and four high schools nationwide. He simulated what a lineman feels on average on nearly every play with a mallet to the top of a helmet. Should I really hit it hard? Hit as hard as you can, yeah. And that one got up to about 30 G's. So your average hits are 40, 50 G's. That would hurt. I mean, you wouldn't like that. The investment in monitoring and tracking impacts isn't cheap. $1,000 per player initially, plus $100,000 annually in support costs. But the team says it's worth it. One of your primary concerns is the safety of your players. You know, I think uh, you look around, all these guys running around, but uh, you want to make sure all of them stay healthy. It's ready, uh, something that's ready to spread. Now, it may spread, Margaret, because next month, Dr. Duma goes to the NFL to present his findings, and it's his belief that professional football teams, the NFL, will start to electronically monitor collisions. And I want to quickly mention here, the larger point of this study is to, at some point, develop equipment that actually protects where players are vulnerable. You know, we had three concussions in that Steelers game just this week, so clearly this is a story that's going to be with us, and we'll be watching it. Margaret, back over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Michelle. Michelle Steele.